One second. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> Haven't you guys already made this character multiple times? Disney's wish is kind of bad. I came into this movie with kind of mediocre expectations, and I gotta say, they were met, but like the whole premise of the story was just so bad. Bad. There's a lot of moments in this movie where I thought it was actually very strong, especially the animation and also some parts of the story. You can see, you can see tiny shades of like it actually being a competent movie, but then they fall back onto tropes they've already done before and like things you've already seen. The animation is actually pretty good i wasn't feeling it in the trailers but like the more i saw it like they have very good lighting and it's stylized just enough to where i'm just like i i kind of vibe with this i think it's pretty good animation overall it's not like into the spider verse or puss in boots but like you know it's passable it's acceptable it's absolutely fine i gotta say one of the features i really enjoyed was the hair on the characters like our main character's hair it's very beautiful and the queen's hair i absolutely love that design i i think it's cool everybody else in the movie kind of feels somewhat generic the voice acting is of course very good but like I don't know, I wasn't really attached to any of these characters. The music also ties along to me not being too attached to this movie in general or any of the characters. Like, the music is kind of decent and at times pretty good, I can't lie. But, like, I don't know, it just falls into the realm of generic which is kind of strange to say in this musical because majority of the music is like they're trying to be very distinct and like showcase that like they are not necessarily trying to copy the older works because like they're doing like sort of singing rapping or like fast singing if you want to call it that they're doing a lot of fast singing and not necessarily a lot of like long drawn out singing or like runs or anything like that which i very i very much appreciate it i think the music in this could have been good and there's times where i actually thought it was good like the second song i think which is like my second favorite song um there's a part to where the main character actually joins in and like her part like her part when she's singing very fast it's it's exquisite my favorite song of the movie is of course the first song of the movie which is called wish i'm guessing i can't remember what it's called whichever song goes like so i look up at the stars to find me whichever song that goes like that yeah i gotta say this music is pretty decent and sometimes good overall like I, I think it was pretty okay. What is not okay is the story. The story fucking sucks. The whole premise of this movie is centered around wishing. And so like, you, you know, the wishes you want to become reality, the king sort of stores that wish into a little ball. And so, um, <laughs> it, make, it makes the village people depressed when he stores the wish, which is stupid. Like, why is the only thing keeping them happy is, like, their dreams or, like, their wishes? Like, there's more things in life that should be making these people happy. Like, why do people instantly get depressed when their wishes are gone? <laughs> I find it absolutely stupid, and I gotta say, uh... I hate this story so fucking much. The whole plot of this story is that the king is storing wishes. And then our main character wants to become a uh, apprentice. And then so she figures out, oh, the king is actually uh, keeping all these wishes and not granting them. Why would he do that? And he's a control freak. And so now the, the main character is just like, okay, I'm going to overthrow him. And then that's what happens, basically. That's the whole movie. If it sounds familiar, it should be because it's been done multiple times, which is absolutely fine. They tried to bring a new twist to it, but the twist fucking sucks. And I'd at least excuse the plot a little bit if it weren't for our main character being a reskin of a character we've already had multiple times. Disney has this problem with the main characters, or at least the princesses anyway, to where like, they're, they're quirky, they're headstrong, they're supposed to be comedy relief, like, what are they supposed to be? They're just quirky. Like, the serious scenes in this movie aren't taken serious because our main character wants to be quirky or they want to be like oh my god did i just do that i put a dress on a tree like why why do you have to be self-aware they try to balance so many characteristics in their princesses instead of actually have them grow into that or appropriately show that 
that it's just very irritating when they've done it for like the third or fourth time. It's especially irritating when you see shades of like, wow, this character could have been good. It's just that like, in the different scene, they make a 180 and they become like very obnoxious. And it's just like, oh my God, what happened to the Mulans? What happened to like all the older princesses, like who had strong traits, who weren't like, I don't know, ashamed to be a woman. <laughs> Like, you already have a comedy relief character. You don't need to make the main character be another comedy relief or have all these other characters just be comedy relief. You can have serious characters. Which brings me to the villain character. The villain character isn't very good. They try to, like... They try to like showcase that like, oh, this character is bad from the jump, which I'm not necessarily opposed to, but like their justification for him being evil is kind of stupid and not fleshed out. They're trying to have control over the kingdom because their kingdom burned down like when they were young. So they're trying to like fill that hole. But at the same time, like, we don't learn any other traits about him. If you're gonna show the main villain as much as you do, you should probably like explain more of their story and have actual justifications for their actions and or at least have them be evil they aren't really evil yeah there's no big threat of the main character and majority of the village people already understand what he's doing by the end of it like you can see him change as a person as he starts to dwell into these dark magics because he's scared because he's insecure about i don't know someone else having more magic and then there's a climax to where you know our main character is down in the dumps and the villain has an upper hand on them <laughs> and then what does she decide to do she decides to sing and everybody sings together and that's enough that that's enough to, to defeat the main villain you know good shit i love musicals but that was so fucking cringe dude also a thing to know is that they throw a lot of references to older movies in this movie like sleeping beauty i guess with the mirror 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 on the wall um there's a reference to zootopia like it seems like they're really trying to like have this be like almost like a reboot of an era of the renaissance era but like this shit kind of sucks dick i don't know this movie isn't too bad overall it's kind of mid but like it's very frustrating as a disney fan to have them repeat the same shit they done for like five ten years now there are actually a lot of redeeming qualities in this movie like the animation and sometimes the music it's just that like the flaws in the story overall kind of suck dick so i Honestly, I'm gonna give this movie probably a four. I feel four is the most appropriate. Disney, please scrap Zootopia 2. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 